So you found a good person. You got to train them. What goes into a great training program? Do you have that? I do. I'm going to give it to you right now. Hello, this is David Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and I understand your challenges, your struggles. I've been there, done that. You brought in a, what you thought was a great employee only to have them quit or get fired in three months. Right? Frustrating. We get to a point where we don't train or, all right, we grab some bar manager together with some bartenders and a server manager, host manager, somebody who does all the stuff. Quick serve, we have people who are in charge of the registers and, and the line, whatever it may be. And we all get together and we, we put together our training system. And then we've got one for the back of house, one for the front of house, the different positions, none of them being the same. Well, you've got to put together one training program for the whole restaurant. This is the reason why chain restaurants are able to duplicate themselves over and over again. They put great training in place. What's the anatomy of a great training program? Where does it start? It starts with a job description. The program we put together is a job description based program, not the ones you may have big borrow and stolen from somebody else. A job description is not just what the job is. It's what the job is, how to do it, how well it should be done, and more importantly, by when. We need that to hire the right person, select the right person, and train them to what our systems are. Number two, you need to have training manuals. A training manual. What goes in that manual? Well, there needs to be an agenda with each day of training. What's going to be covered? The WIIFM, what's in it for me every single day? If I train today, what should I get out of it? What's the benefit to me? And what are the tasks? Have that all mapped out. So the next thing is we've got to have tests. Why are tests so important? When does a new hire do damage to your business? When does it cost you money? It's when they hit the floor independently. All too often we whisk them through a training program and they don't know because we didn't test them. Look, if you don't pass day one test, you don't go to day two. If you don't pass day three test, you don't go and so on and so forth, right? Now look, I might go through the six day training program in 10 days because management loved my attitude, my smile. Well, if somebody goes through in six days, I go through in 10. Is that person better than me that went through in six? The answer is no. We both demonstrated we know what the job is, how to do it, how well it should be done by when. It just took me longer. And oh, by the way, we get to day 10 and I'm still not there. You fire me. It says, David, you are not meant to be in the restaurant business, the hospitality industry. I make sure that they don't hit the floor independently and damage my business. Four, evaluations. These are not the one to 10 scale. I don't know what the hell that means. Hey man, I think you're a six. Dude, I'm so an eight. No, we have a job description and you either meet, exceed, or do not meet those specific paragraphs or line items, bullet points on that job description. Last but not least, you need to have a trainer's guide. You have to tell the trainer exactly the way you want it done. The last thing I want to do is follow what we do in the restaurant business and follow my long-term employee who knows every shortcut, knows how to steal, knows how to manipulate the system. Instead, I want to make sure the person doing the training is doing it my way. You've got to tell them what it is. How is training going in your place? What's your favorite training tip or method? Do me a favor, put it in the comments section below. I'd love to learn more. Before you go, if you'd like to know how training systems and other systems you can put in place to change your bottom line, I want you to opt in on this page. I want to give you my free report, the 10 lessons I've learned that every restaurant must know if they have any chance of making money. Opt in now. And be sure to check back on my channel on my next video when I talk about the importance of checklists, how this simple system creates a detail or, or culture where the details matter. Back off for a second, I want to remind you something. You selected them, you hired them, you train them, you manage them on a daily basis. So if you're calling your employees an idiot, 